My name's Kieran Smith, a question, and I'm at Asaroble horse riding to experience life with the Grand Canarian horses, and you guys are coming with me. Let's go. So we've spoken about how the centre started up, about how you and your family got that going. Let's go into the barn, which I have already been into. So yeah. um, we'll go into the barn, have a little look inside and have a look around the centre overall. And maybe you could tell us a little bit about the horses. Yeah. And um, for those watching, I'm having to hold the mic here so that you're able to hear both me and Michelle. It's There's really a, noisy. It's really noisy. There's a feed delivery at the moment because obviously you don't have grass out here. Exactly. So. so we need to get the food from. Where do you get the food from? We buy it food. near here, but it's from the mainland. From the mainland, so there's yeah. a little bit of uh, feed there, All and we've got. Yeah, and I'm not food, sorry. <laughs> and some more in there. Um, but obviously, they haven't got grass, so they're having a hay delivery at the moment and a feed delivery, hence why there's so much background noise. Exactly. Um, Careful with that one. Don't bite. It's going to eat me. That wouldn't be very good on the video, would it? And cut, cut the video. Um, yeah, so that, the convenience with that horse is, yeah, he's, he does bite, but he's actually got devil horns on his fly mask, which I think is really unique. Yeah, that is cute. just spot on. Yeah. Now, where are we, what do you call this building then? Uh, the barn? The, the, yeah, in Spanish or? Well, no, just in general. Like, how, what, if, I, if you were to say, go into that building there, what would you say? Cuadras. Right, okay. Yeah. I'm not even going to try and say <laughs> that. Um, I told Michelle earlier that I did do Spanish in school, but I didn't listen very well, so I don't know much Spanish. But I do, say, I do know how to say hola. hola. Yeah, hola. It's, it's enough. <laughs> oh, that is enough. So here is my favourite horse, Mario. How handsome is he? Now, where's Mario come from? Mm, not very sure. <laughs> not very... <laughs> Should we ask Sorry. one? Will the team know? <laughs> yeah. Maca, oh, Mario. Where did you Mario? No, no, let's not Mario. do that. They're speaking Rescued Spanish. Rescued because of uh, he was bad treated right, okay. from Sebrona, which is a company which is in charge of making sure the animals are okay. So yeah. that that's the company that can take the animals from you. Sebrona te puede quitar los animales, no? Claro. So is that somewhere in Spain? Yeah. So to put in comparison, tiene, it's dile que tiene alguna secuela del maltrato como lo que tiene he en el pie de Somebody atrás. used to kick, oh, kick yes. him, so he's got things so if you from come the past. If you come down here, you'll see um, on his uh, on his legs there. You'll see marks, and on that back, um, his left hind, um, you'll see there he's got an injury. Now I did speak to Alex earlier, and Alex said it doesn't yeah, affect him at all. And when he came, he was half his weight. Half so his yeah, weight, really. really, thin, really so that's terrible. a nice thing because for you guys, then you're giving the horses a second chance in life, really, aren't you? A nicer version of life, actually bringing them up. And what's your name? Magarena. Magarena. Do, do you speak English? English. Um, <laughs> A little, a little bit. Michelle will have to be trans. <laughs> so, <laughs> how long have you worked here for? Let's ¿Cuánto llevas trabajando aquí? Un año. One year. One year. What made you want to work here? Que te hizo querer trabajar aquí. Los caballos, los animales. The animals, the horses. Uh, she loves animals. You love animals, yes, yeah. Yes, she's really into. Bueno, tú haces cosas de. Yo siempre había trabajado en ferreras con she, perros. She used to work with uh, dogs in places where they. The same with animals, you know, where the dogs that people live yeah, on yeah, the streets or... Yeah, yeah, Exactly. Like it's my first experience with horses. And it's her first experience with horses here. Really? So you're learning, you're learning as well? You're learning as well. A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. See, that's it again, they're made. We've got horses that are being rescued. We've got equestrians um, learning as they go on the job and that's, yeah. again, inspiring people, bringing people into it. Um, so what, is, what are your duties here? What? ¿Qué, qué, ¿Cuáles son tus tareas más o menos? ¿Qué es lo que haces diariamente? Eh, les limpiamos, le limpio, le doy de comer, los saco a la pista los que los necesitan. Clean them, feed them, put them in the paddock when they need it. Yeah, so just all Taking aspects of care. Care, yeah. Wow. Todo lo que es cuidado diario. Every, every, yeah, every day. And by yourself or as a team? Es como un equipo, ¿no? Que yeah. tiene. Yeah, as a team. As a team. Yeah. Who else have we got on the team? ¿Qué, ¿Quién más está hoy? Mi compañero que está por ahí descargando la carretilla, ahora vendrá. The, he will come in a minute. Okay. Who is your favorite horse? ¿Cuál es tu cabello favorito? Uno es Casino. Casino, which is down. Casino. Y otro es Ron. Ron. Okay, this one here. Do you yeah. want to... Should we go... <laughs> yeah. 
What's his story? Does he have a background story? He also was really bad treated. So okay. he's in He's recovering. He has a problem. Can you right, see? Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, you can see the muscle wastage on his back yeah. there. Um, so and his back dips down quite a lot. She's saying that when she when he came, he was just in a corner. So now he's more social. He was very now he's a new horse. He wants love. He wants you to touch him. And he so changed. Totally. It's nice to see that change. Dice que bonito ver eso. Really nice. Es lo mejor. When you get to work with them and you get to influence that change and get them trusting again, I think that's that must be such a rewarding part of the job. Yeah. It's got to be, definitely. I've had horses in um, England that I worked with and some of them you pick up a bridle and you go to their stable and they're straight to the back of the stable, heads down, ears back because they don't want to be ridden. And you work with them over a period of time and all of a sudden that work that they once dreaded becomes really enjoyable. Yeah. Dice que es la gratificación del trabajo este diario. Para que mí es la mejor parte de mi trabajo. She's saying it's the, pers the best part of her job. Yeah, seeing that improvement. That's really nice. Dice really, que es muy bonito. Really nice. <laughs> oh, amazing. Really nice to meet you. Really Me nice to meet you. Me <laughs> Have a good day. Let's head uh, back <laughs> down the barn. Um, that is the feed delivery guy, I yeah. assume. And who we got in the stable? Is this the other? Yeah. As you can see, flies are also very much in Spain. Bueno, what is it? Obviously. Does he mind being in films? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What should we spin ourselves round? Yeah. Come in, Michelle. Are you going to be translating? I'll go this side. Yeah. Yo voy a traducir. We'll uh, you stay in there, little guy. Look at me already taking up the jobs. So, what's your name? Juan Carlos. I'm not going to even try. Say it. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos. I'm terrible at uh, uh, Spanish or anything. <laughs> so I, I should have really listened to my Spanish lessons. And how long has he worked here? How long have you worked? Learning as well? So he didn't work with horses before here? No. And obviously he shares the same responsibility as, um, I've forgotten the name Maga. of Maga. Uh, he shares the same responsibility, they work as a team to look after all the horses here. So the actual daily routine, from what I gather, these guys wait for the horses to go out on their first excursion in the morning and they get straight into the stables and start Ustedes, mucking out. Continuamos. They start from the beginning of the day. They and, straight. Yeah, and maybe they help them to put the horses inside the paddock, and then they continue to work. Okay. From so, early morning. So what's the actual routine then? ¿Cuál es la rutina que tiene más o menos? Rutina diaria. Llegar, eh, limpieza. Primero se da la comida a todos los caballos. Feed the horses. Yeah. First thing in the morning. Se hace una limpieza cleaning, general. General cleaning. Okay. Eh, Después continuamos con la limpieza de que son de cuadras. Then cleaning each box. It should go through each box. Yeah, exactly. How do you guys cope in the heat? Because it's like 28 degrees now. Como lo hacen con el calor ustedes. Porque dice que hace mucho calor. No mojamos todo el tiempo. With water all the time. With water. Yeah. Se sobrelleva porque... Is that, is that ever... I guess you used to like, again, you climatize to it, yeah. don't you? I guess you guys are used to it every day. Is there ever a time where the horses actually do struggle with the heat? Because I know like uh, the, uh, last month it was like 38 degrees. Then they need showers. So, so they have shower. to shower the horses. Shower them down. But I know that was one of the questions someone had asked yeah. is what, you know, if they yeah. do get overheated, do you have to shower them down? I know that makes sense. Favorite part of the job? ¿Qué es lo que más te gusta de tu trabajo? Lo que más me gusta. Hmm. Bueno, pues lo que estoy aprendiendo, no interactuando también con, con los caballitos. Learning about the horses. Learning, and you never stop learning with the horses. Y nunca dejas de aprender con los caballos. Learning sí. forever. Yeah. Ahí así algo algo nuevo. Y tú vienes de otro país, verdad? Colombia. He's from Colombia. Okay. He came from Colombia. Oh, amazing. Okay. And your favorite horse in the barn? ¿Cuál es tu caballo favorito de aquí? Hay dos. 
Mario y... y Mario. Y Divino. Y Divino, yeah, wow. sí, yeah. What makes them your favorites? ¿Por qué son tus favoritos? O sea, los que más me atraen, ¿no? Por bonitos. Pero el que más cariño le tengo es Spirit. The, the, he likes them more because they are beautiful. But the one that he has, like, special love is for Spirit. Okay, how why? What makes him so special? ¿Qué le hace tan especial? No, it's just, <laughs> just have that connection. <laughs> he likes it. He just, uh, no, no, that's good. It's like a feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Like, a like just that connection you connection. get, that gut that's feeling, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Oh, wow, amazing to meet you both. Really good. Really Me nice. You must work really hard. Have a good day. See you later. Bye. Thank you. Well, there's the uh, team who sort of work for the care of the horses, making sure they're feeding. Now, we've just seen the feed go into the bar, into the um, shed around the corner, haven't we? Yeah. Um, now, you order that in from the mainlands. That's right. Just, yeah, just exactly. squeeze past this wheelbarrow just here. <laughs> it's just like being at home, this is. Um, and everything's stored in there. So how often do you have to order the food in? If I'm not sure, but regularly. Uh, not every day, but like depending. Yeah. Do you ever struggle with actu like some horses actually putting on weight? Because I know for like my horse, for example, if I, in the winter when there's no grass and I, got him on, like, I get my good feed um, and hay, but sometimes I have to play around with his feed a little bit and it's not until he actually gets on some good grass exactly. does he put weight on. Do you ever struggle with actually getting weight on them? Or mm. no? Sometimes the ones that are rescued, they seem to, you know, it feels like it doesn't matter how... You feed them, they need time, you know, because it's like, I feel like they went through a process, mm -hmm. they were really sick, and then they need more time. Yeah, yeah. So then you really have to try and, and, as long and as wait. Putting that time in, yeah, isn't it? And Patience. sometimes it's sad to see them that way, but you know that they are okay, you know, that they are eating well, you yeah. know? But Ugh. it's just... It must be so rewarding working here. I'm so envious of you, honestly. <laughs> it's, um, we, oh, I've got another member of the team here. Now, there's two parts of the team, isn't there? Now, yeah. these guys obviously work looking after the horses, yes. all aspects of care. And then we have the excursion crew who actually take them out. We've got the transport as well. Yeah. The guides. Um, that guides. Is that what we call them? The guides. Yeah. Very good. Speaks English. Of course well, I we do. We speak English. <laughs> uh, would you like to tell everybody your name? Michelle's trying to avoid being in the camera, guys. <laughs> she speaks English. She speaks English. We don't need a translator. So exactly. You, we spoke obviously early on the ride, but we'll just go over it all over again. So how long have you been here for? So I've been here uh, working almost two years, something like this. Two years, really? Yes. And you, obviously you went away for a while, then come back. Exactly. Is that right? I went a bit outside and then I came back. Yeah, and yeah. I just love this place. It's uh, amazing. What makes you love it so much? Well, the horses, working with horses, animals, for me, is just the best, I think. Yeah. And uh, everybody here is, like, uh, so nice and feels like a little family, let's Everyone's say. Everyone's lovely, apart from that Michelle. Eh. That <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Everybody here is just uh, amazing, and it's lovely to work with uh, animals, experience all the different nationalities. And yeah, yeah. yeah, but you meet so many new people every exactly. day as well from all across the globe. Uh, which is quite amazing. And I think there is a homely feel about here. Now, for you guys, it is a home um, because yeah. you live here. Um, but straight away, as soon as we got in the car, like we had a laugh with um, the gentleman who picked us up. Yeah, come past. Don't, don't let us stop you. Um, and straight away, we had to laugh and we were here and we were made to feel comfortable. So, um, yeah, yeah, massive homely feeling being here, yeah. which must make the job. So, easier. yeah, easier, enjoyable. You want to go to work. Yeah. Exactly. Now, for you, you don't have a horse at the moment. Um, no. Aspirations I'd one day? Maybe one day. That's my dream since I was small. So maybe one day, if I have the chances and I can uh, spend time with and take care about it, which yeah. is very important. I don't want to have an animal just to have it. Yeah. Let's say... Maybe one day. It's uh, something that I want. Uh, and you say you when you were little, how, what, what age did you start with horses? Uh, like five, six years. Five. I was going already riding and what? I just uh, love it. It's it, just. Uh, it's in your blood when you're in a question. Everyone who's going to watch this will know for a fact. You just know when you're younger, before you've even ridden a horse, before you've actually got on a horse. You just have that love and that passion for the horse. Exactly. So the favourite part of the job, you love the whole job. Who's your favourite horse? My favorite horse uh, right now it's uh, Nano. Is that the one you were riding this morning? Yeah, exactly. What makes it? What makes? It? Uh, I just love his energy. He's yeah. a very energetic horse, which I like. I don't really like um, automatic horses. Yeah. I like with a little bit of blood in in a way. Yeah, yeah. Let's a bit of energy, really. Exactly. A bit of a spark. That you have to kind of fight with it and. But yeah. Yeah. A bit of it's Nano, it's it's a very calm horse. Big but character at the you want. Exactly. A big character. Exactly. No. I think no. Nano, it's. Uh, 
it's a good horse for me. Now like you, you, for me. <laughs> you take the rides out, so you go out riding, and there's two of you that take the rides out, exactly. isn't there? Is there? Is there just the two, or is no, there more, more people? people. Yeah. But there's two of you out on the rides at yes, one time. So for uh, being out in the heat, like this morning, I had um, I had this on and I also had the Lemieux base layer on because I wanted to keep my arms covered to stop mosquitoes eating me or anything trying to bite me, but also to stop the sun from burning me. How do you cope in the heat riding? Because you ride how many times a day? Well, uh, depending. depending two or three sec uh, excursions a day, it depends as well. For example, today I just did two. Well, a lot of sun cream, of course, very yep. important. <laughs> Every day? Yeah. Every day, exactly. And uh, try to have a as well long sleeve uh, clothing uh, because it's as well and drink water a lot yeah. lots of hydration is important yeah. do you ever struggle with hydration um with the actual horses themselves like, like getting them drink with the heat or anything like that mm. or they, not, they're fairly not really like they before they go they have all their feeding and they have drinking access. yeah exactly so whenever they go out they know that they're going out and whenever they come back they have their things they come back in yeah. i worked with um a brand called h2 pro uh, and they made a um it's like it was literally an energy drink can and you pour it into the water and it's tried to encourage the horse to no drink way. yeah and wow. it's um you know if you've got a horse that needs veterinary care or anything like that and they're refusing to drink you put it in and at first I tried it with my horses um, and he didn't really fancy it and then um, I gave him it a few more times and then he took to it and that was it then. And he was like, his lip was curling up and everything. Um, oh, wow. So that's quite, that's quite helpful. Wow. Well, lovely talking to you. Oh, what's, what's your plans for the rest of the day? Uh, now I go to work. Good. In, so this is just like an extra, which I like to do. And now it's I go like to hobby, my... It's like a hobby, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> hobby for life. <laughs> Hobby for life, yeah. That's it, that's it for us all, really. It's just never ending the horse job. Anyway, have a lovely day. We're Thank gonna head you. down for the rest of the horses, yeah. and um, we'll see you soon. Yes. Take Ta care. So, awesome team. There's one, one more left. One Where more is left. It? Um, what's her name? Who is it? Um, we spoke to, her. and there's another one who went out with us this morning. She's taking us on the. Ah, um, uh, yeah. I think she went up now. Do, okay. But would she want to be on camera? I can ask her. We can ask her? Yes, yeah. okay. Let's come down here. So there's only three stalls down here, and we've also got a like a schooling area here. Now, do you ride in here? Yeah. Yeah, so you do a bit of schooling and Every stuff now like and again. that. Yeah. And it's is this. so big, but. <laughs> yeah. And do the horses get the sort of like let out into the sand paddock, rolling and stuff yeah, like exactly, that? Yeah, exactly. Um, quite dusty, isn't it? Because it's quite dry. We have um, sprinklers in England. Um, do you have to do the same here? Yeah. You just wet it down wet to stop it. Down. it. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, it's. It's just everywhere. Yeah, Dust. and the people that live there don't like it so much. Really? <laughs> oh, wow. What, what is the um, response from the neighbours and stuff? Like, hello, gorgeous. Uh, the response from the neighbours, because obviously we walked out and obviously the horses go to the toilet. And in England, if your horse goes to the toilet on the street, oh, God help you. They hate you. Everyone hates you. Horses shouldn't be on the road. Horses shouldn't be this. Do you get any of that here? Sometimes. Do you? <laughs> Well, uh, the haters. The haters, yeah. We don't want the haters. Yeah, sometimes, but we try to clean it as fast as it's possible. Yeah. But of course, sometimes we're busy. Yeah. And uh, I suppose we're sorry, but we we're, we're sorry, but uh, <laughs> deal with do, it. You know? um, I suppose that the difficulty here is in England. Obviously, we have a lot of rain. It never stops raining, so it actually washes away. Because obviously, horses yeah. is just it's all forage. Um, here, you don't have any no. rain, so it, I suppose it just stays there. So yeah. I can understand why it might get exactly. That's why you have to. It up. Otherwise, it will stay there. Yeah. And there's a bit of road. Obviously, we cross over the road, and the cars have to stop. Do you get any grief off that? People getting frustrated. Usually, people respect it. But yeah. you, you know, when you go outside, you see every kind of situation because there's people and people. You never know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how they will react. So sometimes they behave and they respect, and sometimes they don't. Okay. But uh, luckily, the horses don't get scared. You know. Yeah. Even if they go fast with their car, normally they stay calm. But it's something really nasty to do. Yeah, know? yeah, it is. We it's the same in England. Some people, I'm sure anybody watching this, you'll, you've had times where people throw abuse at you, speed, beat pawns, really unnecessary behaviour. Yeah. Why? Um, and then other people who are really supportive. Yeah. Really supportive. And they s they wait and they yeah. patiently. But again, it's all about educating people, isn't it? Getting them exactly. to understand. And to know that uh, <laughs> it's not a game with animals. Yeah. That there's yeah. always a danger. And there's people also riding, and they should be careful because uh, it could be you. you know? Yeah, and we're not doing it to be difficult. We're yeah, just exactly. going about our day, and we will make it as easy and as quick as possible for you. Yeah. Who's this guy? This guy is 
I don't remember the name. You don't remember the name. <laughs> there is a you have to forgive me, but I have 80 horses in my life. Yeah, 80 <laughs> horses. Imagine trying to remember that. And, they, and see, cats and dogs and... <laughs> you have new horses coming in all the time. Yeah, well, Divino, I think is the name. Divino. You're very, very pretty, though. You need to put your Which ears back. Divine. There we go. Ears back forward. It's what? Divine. Divine. The name. You've meaning. got all purpose behind you. Yeah, names, every you? horse has a name with a meaning. And like there's my horse called John. 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 What's just that? John. What uh, is John? I don't know. My friend named him John, and I, I never understood why. Who's in this stable? Who we got here? Hello. Oh, he's having a drink. He's just showing that we do drink here. He has a very big head. You're gorgeous. Aww. Oh, that's it. Have a bit of a shower. Don't get it on me. Thank you very much. And we got one more down in this stable. Uh, beautiful chestnut. Hello. You're stunning as well. Wow. So, we've seen the barn at the top, we've yeah. seen the school, we've seen these stables down the bottom here. Uh, behind us is the mucky, but we don't want to be looking at that, nobody wants it. It looks just like our mucky in England, I promise. And then obviously the school, and there is where you live. Yeah. You actually live here. Exactly. Um, her grandmother, Michelle's grandmother, made us dinner this afternoon, and it was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Thank really you. nice food. Um, so, you live, you well, you live in multiple places, don't you? But yeah. who lives on site here? This is the house of my grandparents. Yeah. Uh, the next, the next house is from my father. Yeah. And um, I have my room and also my brother because I have a small brother as yeah. well. And he writes. Oh. Yeah. How old? Uh, Eleven. Eleven. I work with a magazine called Boys Ride Too, and they're all about you know bringing inclusivity for boys in the equestrian industry because there's not many boys who ride, and if they do ride, there's not much there for them. Yeah. So it's good to see more boys coming into yeah, the industry. Yeah. Really into riding and jumping and he's he, yeah and Amazing. with my father with us he's calling me i want to go can i have a lesson can all the time do you get on with him your little brother yeah, yeah. of course i love him really yeah amazing no, si no sibling squabbling no nothing no 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 no, no. He's wow still, uh, i think i'm well i'm he's an angel. i'm 22 now my brother's 25 and we still squabble uh, <laughs> oops um and maybe it's because uh, there's a big uh, space with there the is age, you know like he's well, what well, else? we don't talk massively, to be honest, anymore, because we're both so busy, and especially I'm always out with the horses, my brother's got kids now, so really? when we, we get on better now, oh. um, but we still bicker sometimes, but that's just yeah. sibling behaviour. But it's part of the... the which family, isn't it? Family. Yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> and um, another amazing thing, which um, I would 100% do, was at the top earlier, and I'll attach the clips onto this video, they'll probably come up now, as long as if I edit the video properly, is the swimming pool and the bar. 28 degrees here. I don't know how anybody would survive without a swimming <laughs> pool, okay? But what you um, what you were saying was that obviously people can hire a swimming pool in the bar. Yeah, can't exactly. They? they can have a pool day or they can celebrate uh, birthday, weddings. Um, well, you had your birthday here, didn't you? Yeah, I had it. And what theme was it? Barbie. Barbie. <laughs> but it was her birthday before the Barbie movie came out. Exactly. So. She was Sorry? there before it. Barbie copied, <laughs> they copied Michelle. Me. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's it's pretty cool um, because obviously people can come ride, can't they? Yeah. And if they wanted to, they could have a party. Yeah, after. exactly. Imagine it's your birthday and you ride, so you would like to go to the excursion, but it's so hot here. You want to have a, you know, the swimming pool. It is pool hot here. And <laughs> drink something. And not only that, uh, Sonia, which is the one who organized everything, she's g amazing making the decorations. Uh, she makes you like when she did my birthday, for example, it was all pink, but amazing. Each detail is amazing. Spot on. That's what you need, isn't lovely, it? That's lovely. Lovely. Yeah. So if you are coming to Grand Canary, it's your birthday and you love horses, this is a place to be. And if I could jump in the pool right now, I would, but we've got too much to do for the rest of the day. I wish. I wish. Maybe <laughs> we have time. Mm. We just. Mm. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Please, someone put me in the pool. <laughs> Well, that is uh, the centre to where the excursions go, where the horses are kept. We're actually going over to the riding school soon, aren't we? And I am going to have a jumping lesson, which was a surprise with uh, today. We weren't supposed to go over there, were we? Yeah. So, um, so I'm going to go embarrass myself over at the riding school. And what? tell me what the tradition was over dinner, you were the saying. Yeah. What was it? When somebody falls, the next day you have to bring a cake. You can make it or you can buy it, but you have to bring it. But the funny thing is, it's not the people who haven't fallen off that have to bring you the cake. The person who has fallen off has to bring the cake. Exactly. How's, so how's that fair? If you can't walk, you have to I can walk. <laughs> so if I fall off, I've got to turn back up here tomorrow exactly. with the cake. Yeah. I'm not complaining. As long as if the pool's ready for me, I <laughs> and don't And we have mind. a bakery of preference, so. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Normally. <laughs> so we'll put the cake orders in. 
anyway, so we're going to head over to the um, riding school shortly. Uh, we'll uh, go say goodbye to the horses before we leave and um, see what that brings. Yeah. You excited? See? Yeah, I'm really excited. Really I can't excited. wait to see you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God, have a good <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye. Molly? I am Molly. <laughs> I usually torture the riders and students. So I'm going to make him jump quite high with one other because horses has been winning quite a lot in, on the island. <laughs> The jumping session's over, and I'm not going to say anything whatsoever. I'm going to pass this one over to you. How did it go?